It was supposed to be a start over Christmas, a new beginning for Grandpa with plans to spend more time with the family. But tonight, the family spending their time planning his funeral. Police say a hit and run driver killed him and ABC 15's John Erickson with that victim's family tonight. Court documents say Daniel Calhoun was crossing the road here near 48th Street and Baseline Friday morning. He was standing in the turn lane waiting for traffic to clear. Documents say the suspect was driving this way, didn't want to wait behind two cars in these two lanes, so took to the turn lane, used it as a passing lane, and hit Daniel. And then it was decision time, and court documents say Modesto Burgos made the decision to drive off. Victim Daniel Calhoun would later die. Jonathan Calhoun is Daniel's son. How little do you have to care about life to just leave? Court documents say Burgos went home and washed his car. Witnesses gave his plate number to police who arrested him. I don't know how he planned on living with himself after that. Jonathan says his dad was about to get his license back so he wouldn't have to take this walk to the bus anymore on the way to work. And that was going to be a turning point. They were so excited, had so many plans, and everything was so close. Everything included more time with grandsons, more time playing games, more smiles with his son. Those smiles won't come now, and as Jonathan spends time at his dad's house getting everything sorted out for the funeral. Packages keep coming to the door. He had uh, spent a lot of time researching very closely everything that the kids wanted for Christmas and for their birthdays. So as we're dealing with all of this, all of the packages are coming from Amazon, from online everywhere, just being delivered, all of the different presents and things that he got from family. A giving grandfather, even in death. The family has set up a GoFundMe for funeral expenses. We have a link to that on our website. We've asked for an interview with the suspect. Back to you.